Yo right, guys, how are you doing today? So today is the 27th of June. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 27th of June. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It has been really hot over the last week. It's been absolutely beautiful. It's been, uh, it's been pretty hot. Sometimes it's been a little bit unbearable when you're uh, going to sleep at night because it's just too humid, too hot, it's too nasty. Anyway, so the agenda today is we're going to go to a World War II bunker. Uh, it's an old radio control centre, so it should be quite cool. There's um, there's still like all the old typewriters and stuff down there, so it should be pretty cool. It should be an awesome video for you guys to watch. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get get down there and we're going to see what is down there. Um, So I'll catch you guys in a bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all my stuff together. Um, and we'll see you there. Peace. Oh. You've got one life to live. She's singing. Ooh, you've got one life to live. Don't let it go. So guys, we are here uh, to one of the bunkers, but one of the entrance is slightly collapsed. We're just treading a little bit carefully here. Alright, should we go back up? Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm taking this off. Dave, don't. Oh, I'm not going to work. Also, we're not going to work down there. Fucking. Fuck, I'll stay. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know why I'm coming out there. <laughs> it's the most spastic way possible. <laughs> oh, oh, we did rope to be honest. I don't think. Fuck off, Ray. Uh, I don't think so. Do you think there was some there? There will be down there. But not as there is down there. <coughs> well, to be fair, also I tell you in like 20 years time. You were dead. I'm sure we'll survive longer than that. Oh, you will. Anyways, I might not. You can't clean asbestos, can you? It can be washed out. Huh? It can be washed out. Do you mean it can be washed out? It's just dust, man. Yeah. Yeah, but it's pretty much nearly indestructible. It's pretty hard. It doesn't really burn. Can't get asbestos all over that, otherwise, fuck. Just to chuck away, chuck it away. You, you didn't touch the walls, though, did you? They were brick walls. It wasn't asbestos version. You disgust you know? me! How do you know that you haven't got a Because my hands had gloves on, and... Yeah, and you just wiped them on me. <laughs> no, that was my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that went in my mouth. <laughs> that went in my mouth! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Death will know eat you. I'm gonna go up your fucking nose. <laughs> Hanging like five fucking used condoms. <laughs> oh, you dirty mouth bastard. <laughs> Did that actually go in your mouth? Yes. <laughs> Look, I can throw your phone down here. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. So, I did actually lose the footage for. Um, this next bit that I had and it's just basically explaining that we didn't get into the bunker because uh, the stairway had been broken we thought there would be only like a little bit like a little drop like a 10 foot drop it turns out that there was a bit more than that because uh, we went back there on the following day Let's see if we could get a ladder get down there see some cool shit but um, it turns out the drop was a little bit bigger um, than we thought but you'll see in the the video here um but yeah check out for yourself i guess Step. <laughs> Quite a drop. 
So guys, we uh, went to the uh, bunker again and uh, there's a bit more of a drop than we anticipated. We thought it would only be like a, another like 10 foot, but in actual fact, as you saw from the video when we chopped down the rock, it was like at least another 50 foot or something drop. So we thought, oh, we're not, do it, not going down there. We need some, like, uh, a rope ladder and um, some glow sticks to definitely go down there. It's pretty cool. It's an old radio um, HQ centre, comms centre, from the war. Uh, and I've heard that it's got still all the old typewriters and stuff down there. So we definitely cool just to go down there and have a look. It's quite big as well. Anywho, we're off to go see this tank that recently they dug up. So that should be fun. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Turn up. Here we are, guys. The old tank. It's been 
ploughed a few times. Yeah, I see what you mean, it is missing the, uh, the gun. Yeah. It's not that very good. <laughs> oh, what, a good welder? Yeah, pretty nice. Quite pretty. Let's see if I can. These tanks had all those of problems. Guys, there you go, you have it, the old uh, World War II, World War II or World War I? World War II, World War I? World War II. World War II. World War II. Tank. Uncovered. Still pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. Um, so I think what we'll do now is we'll probably head on back, um, call it a day, and uh, until the next adventure. But, So I'll catch you guys in a bit. I'll see you soon. Turn up. The, the one nearest to me is the mum. Oh, right, the one with it. And the oh. one near to you, yeah, because it's the thickness of the necks. Yeah. No, don't think you'd lose. He sounds like he's laughing. Are you just going to eat it out of my hand, though? I wouldn't let you do that. No, because... Mm -hmm. The mum and dad are going to eat shit. They, they would do that. I don't know about you, but I don't want an angry swan anywhere near me. No. I've been hissed at by so many of them. <laughs> the ones, the swans at barns scare me. Uh, look, I really like watching the coop feed their babies. And when they pass it through the beaks. Look, 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 Thanks. 
that's so annoyed. So we, I am just got back home, um, knackered. I am absolutely shattered, to be honest. So we did actually go to the bunker itself, like you probably heard me say previously in the video, um, and we went to go down uh, the shaft where we did. We went last time, uh, the emergency exit, and uh, we thought what we originally thought was that. It wasn't that far from the bottom where we were, where the uh, stairs are broken. So we only thought it was probably about 10 foot and we could just get a ladder or climb down there somehow. But, um, so, I didn't actually see, the bottom. well I could see, but I couldn't really see that well. My friend was in front of me, you would have seen. So I went down this time to the edge and I thought, you know what, let's just see how far it is and I chucked down a rock and yeah you it didn't land it didn't hit the bottom till set 10 seconds later so um, when I threw it I realized like no it went past uh, where we originally thought that was the bottom and it went further down I'll probably say there was probably a good another 50 foot down um, it was, well, I know that it's a 60 foot shaft drop, uh, and, and that's the emergency exit. And what it is, it's a radio control uh, centre for the war, it's a comm centre. Uh, so, and I've seen people go down there before, and they've still got the old typewriters and stuff, and the room's quite big, and it looks quite cool to go down there, and it would be cool to go get down there and just see some, like, history, you know, um, and see these places because it'd be pretty cool but yeah like we were properly covered up because obviously there is asbestos there so we had some masks and gloves and you know that was good but then we went down and saw the tank and the tank was pretty cool um you know they dug it up and they found it and yeah it was it was pretty damn awesome um but now i am shattered i am Wicked out, and I know that this hasn't been like a interesting vlog. I just kind of want to try and get it a little bit more interesting, get some things out. We are going to go to a clock tower in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clean my um, my equipment uh, thoroughly and um, kind of get everything all washed, tidy up in the kitchen, um, cook some food start editing and yeah all that what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put it on a time lapse for you put some dope music in there as well um i haven't used dope for a while but yeah i'll put some music there uh for nice for you to listen to and uh yeah just kind of do like a little time lapse thing for that so yeah I'll catch you guys in a bit, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, just remember to uh, give it a massive thumbs up, obviously, and um, please hit that subscribe button because it does make me want to do more videos. If you guys, you know, it's just it's just a nice thing, and it's not that difficult, not that much to ask for somebody just to subscribe. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to do anything. You just need to tap that button, and yeah, and also check out my other social media like Instagram and. Twitter and Facebook not much that I post much from Facebook and stuff because you know but definitely hit up the Instagram because you know there's stuff there and yeah nah, I'm not a loser she's calling me a loser but I don't really care to be honest more of a loser you are anyway so, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Ta da.
actually look quite nice. It's like a kid's meal. Yeah. Now you guys, just coming out of the shower, I'm going to look nice and clean and all fresh and whatever bacteria has come on me is now completely vanquished out of my system. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, relax, eat some food, maybe watch a film, do whatever. I'm shattered, but if you liked the video, please give it a massive thumb. Pardon? Not as tired as I am. Wow. Back to the film. Anyway, please give it a massive thumbs up and please, please, please subscribe. It does help me out a lot. Um, makes me want to do more of these videos. And I am going to do like a July marathon. So like a, do a vlog every day for July. And if I can last that long, then maybe, maybe, just because I really want to give this like a bit of a try. If you ever do something, you've got to like give it a bit, a bit of a try. Otherwise, there's no real point in doing it. So if I do last to the end of January, July. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh no, I said January. Did I say January before? No, yeah. I think I said July. But if I do last to the end of July, and uh, if I do last to the end of July, I know I've said July quite a lot, July, 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 um, I will do a year of vlogging. Just on the spare time, when I can do, I'll, I'll do a year of vlogging. I'll try, but if you give me some support, guys, it would massively help me through, and uh, be contemplating on doing it. But yeah, and quickly, I'm not just one. I'm not one of those guys that's just like, oh, look at my life, so good, so precious. Because it, it's not. It, it really isn't. I actually do like making videos and editing and making something look awesome. Um, I also like doing photography as well. I actually studied it uh, back in the day and got kicked out though because I was. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I just like. Making films shit. and stuff like that. That's all I'm doing it for. Plus, I don't know. I really don't know why I'm doing it. You only live life once. When you get up to like 80 and you think, why didn't I do that? You're going to be like, fuck, I should have just done it. So, yeah. So please, anyway, guys, give a massive thumbs up. Please subscribe. The next video or vlog, it might be we might be going up to this abandoned clock tower, which would be pretty cool to check out. And I hope you guys stick with us. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some food. I'm quite hungry. And yeah, peace. I don't know why I said peace, but yeah, see you soon. Turn up.